Hey, yo, what's poppin'? So, YouTube just made, like, the biggest mistake ever. I don't support this at all. Like, a new multiplayer game just came out, like Fortnite or something. YouTube is really down bad, and as many times I've been on this app, this is horrible. This is the worst thing that could happen in mankind, I'm not gonna lie. But for now on, we're gonna have to be safe, we're gonna have to look at videos, and we're just gonna have to be cautious. YouTube, of the official YouTube, put on Twitter today that in response to creator feedback around well-being and targeted dislike campaigns, we're testing a few new designs that don't show the public dislike count. If you're a part of this small experiment, you might spot one of these designs in the coming weeks. Example below now this is bad because it's like they're trying to silent feedback now what if we want to know that we fucked up but we don't know that we fucked up but the dislike ratio and the like ratio would tell us that we fucked up critical said scam channels just got a huge boner from this change hiding dislikes will make it harder for people to know if a video is promoting a scam now let me give you a little story time i was in like the eighth grade i had a laptop and i'm a pretty smart dude so um i was just on youtube looking for stuff to do looking for stuff to download and i wanted to know if i could download super smash bros ultimate on my laptop me being a dumbass but a pretty smart dumbass i looked it up on youtube and i said oh look it's a video that says oh you can download super smash bros ultimate on on windows 10 on windows 10 and I clicked on a media fire link and then all of a sudden I just seen Russian stuff just pop up on my screen. I turned off my laptop and turned it back on and thought it'd be okay, but nope, stuff was still there. So I had to reset my whole computer, but I tried to do that in my own hands and I reset it the whole BIOS. Like I just, I just erased everything back to factory settings. I had no Linux at the time. I had no USB to boot up Windows 10 and I had no operating system. Ah, I was so sad. And the fact that the dislike ratio was less than the like ratio, that's why I fell for it. But now I'm pretty, pretty more smart. Now I could just look at a video like, um, iOS 13 jailbreak and I can see if it's a scam. And I know it's a scam because of the dislike ratio. So taking this away, it's just not hurting the platform. It's hurting people that actually looks up stuff like this. If you don't like a video, you hit the dislike. If you like a video, you hit the like button. But since YouTube is taking this away, what can we really do? But I'm gonna have to wrap it up here, folks. Uh, Benji commentary with another video and I'm out, peace. And I'm not putting that shitty outro I put in my last video. Oh my God, it was so horrible. But this is YouTube making a big mistake and I'm out, peace.